Please don't. Okay, so hello, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to be doing something different. Um, and I'm not a gaming video, so I'm going to be doing a difference between the DSI and the DS. Wait, it on the table. That's just a chair. So I'm just going to plop them up right here. So I have them right here. They're both charging. It looks ping pong this way. I'm going to plug them out. I have two chargers, as you can see. So, um, and I'm also going to be differencing the cartridge. As, um, these two. So I'm going to start with the cartridges. I'm just going to put the 3DS over here. And put the DSi in my hand. So, I'm going to get my DSi started. DSi, 3DS. I'm always mixing these things up because I had this for years and I got this just and I got this just yesterday. I guess this looks old because somebody actually owned it before me and I had to change a few stuff. So here we are. It's up and running. So now there's an actual difference between the settings of these games. So on these games. So I'm gonna start with the 3DS one. Chitty Robo Zip Lash. I don't know if it's chitty or chibi. I might just call it chippy. The scuba. So, as you can see, it shows like this. But when I plug in this one, I'm plugging a DS one, which is basically the DS but 3D, and it just shows this. I like how it just programs them like that. It's like they actually thought of it. So like they actually thought about it. So now that I have shown the differences between these two little guys now, I am going to read the differences between what you're waiting for and these things. As you can see, there's some blatant differences like this has a circle pad, circle pad, um, menu button, two things, and the menu is quite different. And this one has one camera, it's actually quite slim. Um, these two buttons are broken, just so you know, and this cutter source is empty, and it says DSi at the back. And so it has both different menus, as you can see. It has both different menus, as you can see. So this is not actually a menu. As you can see, these both these both have different menus. Um, these both have different menus, and they are very different. I actually want to use this one more, and so um, they're actually they have both different sound effects. So I'm gonna plug in Chitty Robo Ziplash. I'm going to plug in Chitty Robo Ziplash into that one, and this one has loads of problems. So I had this for a few years now. As you can see, I'm going to start up both. I'm going to start up both of them. So one side is linked by Nintendo, and right? the other intro is 3DS. So um, I'm just going to wait for them to start up here. So they both have some intros. Oh, I accidentally clicked the button on this one, which didn't. If you don't hear. So. So it's going to be the Star Wars one first. So this is the Star Wars one. So if you can't hear it, it's actually a different sound effect. And so I'm going to start up, I'm going to start up with the Chitty Robo Zipplash one. So they both have different sound effects that I know. But um, okay. um, they both have very different playing textures. So as you can see, this one's a bit different. And this one's also a bit different. So as you do not switch off, okay. so Chitty Robo is actually sounds like Peep Robo. So it's actually a pretty funny game. It's actually a pretty fun game, and this 3DS has a lot more stuff. So, um, and this also has a home menu, 
which if you just click the power it, it can actually has a whole menu which i've always used which i am very familiar with because i play loads of people's dsl before i got this so um this does not have a wee menu it just automatically goes back to the menu i did like to say wee menu a menu so i'm just gonna shut these both off so okay so i've just showed the differences now i'm gonna show the dislikes so as you can see the, the this one's a bit more fragile has less battery power so it can't handle much and the ca and the camera is actually quite stronger than the 3ds if you don't believe me if you have a 3ds and an ideas i test it on yourself so um so as you can see the dislike with this one is um that if you look on the inside if these two bu these two buttons right here are very easy to break i broke them so that's why i mainly use this one for psi games so as you can see this one does not have the joystick usually it will be right here and this and this will be right here but i, I honestly dislike having the camera right here i mean when you close it when you try to like video yourself while it closes yes it will be yes when you try to like spy on somebody usually you have the 3ds's camera like this but now that the camera is actually right here so that's so that's one of the downsides for the dsn for the 3ds now there are barely any downsides there's only two downsides so what's the point of two cameras i don't understand you nintendo what's the point and there's loads of not points even though i really like the um, different color schemes i like it but this part the skin's easy to strip off and um i dislike how you put the lights at the bottom it's very hard to notice when your ds needs to charge so and now uh, back to this one so this one actually doesn't have as much features but i kind of i really i really did see no point in removing there's uh, like a gamepad slot a game boy slot right here to put your game boy cartridges but um one of my friends actually have the original ds and i was wondering what slot that was for until i watched the videos about the nintendo ds and so so here's the and here's the gaming now so as you can see both of these can handle less this one can handle less this one can handle more so for some reason this was more heavy because when i got this one actually a friend gave it to me for a trip on a psp and i'm not a sony guy i'm actually a nintendo guy so of course i would make that trip so um this one's actually quite heavy because um this one i can shake with ease this one is actually actually a bit hard actually i not shake it at all so um this one has easy broken buttons also i really don't understand how this thing works just like this but honestly, I see no point. But um, what I really like, what I really dislike about this, is how badly graphics this stuff are. Because uh, this can handle barely anything. By barely anything, I mean barely anything. So, so um, I would want to destroy you. So, so as you can see, the slot hole is actually get dusty quickly. That I also dislike. It's not very easy to dust out. And another thing I dislike is that how the DSi is so hard to get connected to the um memory card, which is cool for this one too. And yes, this is and you can tell the difference because this one. Yeah. So this one's a bit more chunky, I can tell. Because if you look, you actually look and you actually like the same size, but I actually don't see much of a difference. The only difference I see is that this one's actually quite longer, I think. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, wait. It's actually. Yeah, it's actually the same size. Wow. Just like this one must be more bulky. So, um, what I really dislike is that, um, this one actually. This one actually has a slider, but this one does not click. Okay, so I'm just going to put you guys a bit further away so you can see a bit more. That's better. I'm just going to put it like this. 
Let me just put this bit to a little more and hold it up. So we'll put this here, I guess. Let's do this here and hold it up. Okay, so, so as you can see, they're both completely different. So as you can see, they're blatantly different because two cameras, one camera, and this one has a circle pad. Though, as I said, I really dislike how Nintendo put the power button down here because um, it's so hard to see when I was playing one of my games. I could barely see it and it was already blinking. Though, um, I really don't get how they do that for the rest of the 3DSs. Though, for this one, I was actually right here. So, for example, if I just put this on charge, if I just put this on charge, it would have pop up right here. So, it would be very easy to see. Because when I'm playing my Batman games, I, I only have one Batman game, which I give away. So, um, when I'm playing some games, I, I usually see them. Now, yeah, now um, in terms of the years, obviously this one is made longer than this one. So, I am not to spoil you guys, but I really don't want anything to switch. Okay, so the reason why I don't want to maintain the switch is because it's actually is fragile because of how skinny it is. And yes, you guys are going to be in the comments like, Oh my god, I need to switch my fragile. Oh, it's not going to So, and so, um, so, so as I said, the menus are quite different. So I really dislike the placements because usually I'm usually clicking on the right. But this is on the left, and as you can see, the intros are different. This one comes up instantly, while the other one takes a while. Did I click it actually? Yes, I did click it actually. Oh, you can see the blue light. See, now it's on. It takes extremely long time to actually load. So these are totally different. So uh, as you can see, this one actually does not have a this one only uses a circle pad. So if, if you don't if you have an Nintendo Switch or Wii U, then you would obviously know. And so and so this one and so this one just bothers to use the that surface. Okay. So and so um this one just slides across, this one does not go up, down, left, right. And this one does have a Nintendo eShop, but everything there is costing money. Now what I really love about this one, you can actually make flip notes. What I love about this one, you can make flip notes, I'll be right back. Or will I? Let's have it. Okay, so I take it extremely long. So you can actually make some food flip out of this. And make a flip out. And one they actually have to be framed by the person. So one of the only downsides is that the screen is going to be slippery. So this one's actually really slippery, and obviously you keep on losing the status. On the end of everybody I know who have a DDS, which was three versus somebody, so when the status is gone, I actually lost the status, but I actually have my status, which is a cool feature, which also the gamepad has, and hopefully they keep the status for the Nintendo Switch. Actually, I don't think they do. Basically, because if this is a touch screen, and who wants to get finger marks on their touch screens? You do not be phones all the while, so. So, that'll be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this. And leave a like on the video and subscribe. I'll see you.